current and wind problems are some of the most notable types of problems that involve rational algebraic equations. Example number one, a boat travels three miles downstream in the same amount of time it travels two miles upstream. If the boat travels 20 miles per hour in still water, what is the speed of the water current? First, let x be the speed of the water current. 20 minus x is the speed of the boat going upstream. Why is it minus x? It's because the boat is traveling against the direction of the current. 20 plus x is the speed of the boat going downstream. Why is it plus x? It's because the boat is traveling with the current. The current makes the boat travel even faster. Let t sub 1 be the time it takes the boat to travel upstream and t sub 2 be the time it takes the boat to travel downstream. Now, we are going to organize this information using a table. When it travels upstream, the distance is 2 miles, the rate is 20 minus x, and the time is t sub 1. When it travels downstream, the distance is 3 miles, and the rate is 20 plus x, and the time is t sub 2. Now this is our formula. Distance equals rate times time. To find time, we are going to divide both sides by rate. So that means time equals distance over rate. Representing the time it takes the boat to travel upstream, it's distance over rate or 2 over 20 minus x. Representing the time it takes the boat to travel downstream, it's distance over rate. So that's 3 over 20 plus x. And why are we equating the two? It's because the problem says the time spent in traveling upstream is equal to the time spent in traveling downstream. Now let's solve this equation. We cross multiply. 2 times 20 is 40 and 2 times x is 2x. Then equals 20 times 3 is 60 and negative x times 3 is negative 3x. Then adding 3x on both sides, we have 40 plus 5x equals 60. Now subtracting 40 from both sides, we have 5x equals 20. And dividing both sides by 5, x equals 4. So this means the speed of the current is 4 miles per hour. Example number 2. Michael can swim 11 miles downstream in the same length of time he can swim 7 miles upstream. The speed of the current is 4 miles per hour. Find his speed in still water. First, let x be Michael's speed in still water. x plus 4 is Michael's speed swimming downstream. Why is it plus 4? It's because Michael is swimming with the current and the current makes him swim even faster. x minus 4 is Michael's speed swimming upstream. Why is it minus 4? It's because Michael is swimming against the current. Let t sub 1 be the time it takes him to swim downstream and t sub 2 is the time it takes him to swim upstream. Now we are going to organize this information using a table. So swimming downstream, the distance is 11 miles and the rate is x plus 4 
and the time is t sub 1. Swimming upstream, the distance is 7 miles, the rate is x minus 4, and the time is t sub 2. Now this is our formula, distance equals rate times time. To find time, we are going to divide both sides by rate. So that means time equals distance over rate. Now representing the time Michael spent swimming downstream, its distance over rate, so it's 11 over x plus 4. And representing the time spent by Michael in swimming upstream, its distance over rate, or 7 over x minus 4. And why are we equating the two? It's because the problem says that the time spent in swimming downstream is equal to the time spent in swimming upstream. Now we can solve our equation. We can cross multiply. 11 times x is 11x. 11 times negative 4 is negative 44. Then equals x times 7 is 7x and 4 times 7 is 28. Now subtracting 7x from both sides we have 4x minus 44 equals 28. Then adding 44 on both sides we have 4x equals 72. Dividing both sides by 4 x equals 18. This means Michael's speed in still water is 18 miles per hour. Now, your turn. A plane flies 800 miles with a wind in the same time it can fly 640 miles against the wind. If the speed of the plane is 400 miles per hour, what is the speed of the wind? You can pause the video and take your time working on this problem. Now, I will show you the answer. This is our table and we have here the details of our solution and our answer is 44.4 miles per hour. This is the speed of the wind. Did you get it right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching guys. This is Teacher Red Jill. Keep safe.